thank God for everything. <laughs> it's always good to see people enjoying the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. I would like for you to turn in your Bibles to the book of John, to the book of John, to the book of John, the book of John, the third chapter, to the book of John. If you do not have a Bible, please get, raise your hand so someone can get you one or look on with someone else. It is very important that you know the book of John, the first chapter. Amen. Amen. We thank God for. Amen. I am always glad and to know and to see, like I said, people enjoying the Lord and people coming to the Lord. Amen. And since the first of this year, we have baptized about. Now, I know, I know it's close to about um, about fifteen people. I believe it is something like that. And we said we got eleven more to be baptized. And you think about this is just the first part of March. Amen. 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 So I mean, and to be honest, I mean I know from my own experience that's the most people. We done out of baptized. It's in a, in a couple of months in my life. Which lets you know that God is doing something. Amen. And that is, look, that is why I'm standing here today. Is because regardless of other people Believe it or not, God is on the move. He is. And he is moving for those who have a heart for him. Amen. And, and so with all of that, and we are a young church, I'm not just in age, because whether y'all believe it or not, I'm still young. <laughs> okay. In the spirit. <laughs> but we have a young church uh, just say in the new walk with Christ. Amen. And so it is uh, I feel like it is my duty as a pastor, as a a, a, a person who has been called by God to make sure that you get proper teaching as far as your new life in Christ. Amen. To everybody here. I said this the last time I stood up and I'll say it again. You that are new in Christ, I want you to know this. Christianity is not a religion. It is not. And I don't, I do not want you to become religious. Is that, that he said, that, is that what you Be I baptized him. Where's his certificate? You got it? Okay. Please, please. He repeating it already. <laughs> But it is not, and my point about that is, my point about that is, he, I mean, I want you to realize, look, listen, I don't, I don't want you to become like church folk. I'm telling y'all this for a reason. I don't want you to become like church folk. Because that's not, that's not what it's about. It's not about being a good church going person. It's about being a Christian. Do everybody hear me? That's what it, being a Christian is about. I said this last time. 
Oftentimes when people say that they are a Christian, what they're saying is they are connected to this group of people. That's what Muslims do say a lot of times because they're connected to this one. Hindu, Buddhist, whatever. Being a Christian is not about being connected to a religion. Being a Christian is about being connected to and living like Jesus Christ. Period. That's it. That's what it's about. And if anybody want to argue with you about it, tell them to come to me. Amen. I'm here to defend you on that. Amen. It is about being connected and living like Jesus Christ. Do everybody hear me? Amen. Some of them going to tell you I know the word. And I'm going to tell you what they're saying really is they know the scripture. Y'all hear me? That's what when they're saying I know the word. They said I know the scripture. But if you read the scripture the scripture says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Amen. And then it goes on to say and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory. Whose glory? The word glory. Who is the word? Jesus. So if you say you know the word, are you saying you know Jesus or the scripture? Because Jesus told them who said they knew the word, search the scripture. For in them you think you have eternal life, but these are they that testify of me. So even the folks who said they knew the scripture didn't know him. Amen. 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 So we, I want you to know him. Look, not them or that. I want you to know him. Hallelujah. Are y'all hearing me? Because see, if you want peace, you know where you're going to get peace? In the word. <laughs> hey, if you found and you need to be free, you know who's going to free you? The word. <laughs> Jesus says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And that don't mean you're going to know the right or the correct answer. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. <laughs> no man come to the Father but by me. So even in that, when you're talking about the truth, you're still talking about him. Amen. See, these are testimonies of him. Amen. Are y'all hearing me? These are not testimonies of a religion. These are testimonies of him. And I wanted you to go to the scripture because, see, this religious man came to Jesus. In the book of John, the third chapter, it said there was a man of the Pharisees. These were scholars and people who knew the scriptures. A ruler of the Jews, the same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Stop right there. Amen. This ruler came to Jesus, this scholar came to Jesus and said to him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles.
miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Amen. <clears throat> again, I talk about metanoia. Y'all gonna hear this word a lot. Get used to it. And I don't do it because it's, I, I, I always say this. Not because I don't have nothing to say. I'm saying this because it will change your life. It will. It really will. It really will. And it is and the other and, and the main reason is because that's really what Jesus came to tell us to do. He came to change how we think. He came to change how we see things. He came to change how we hear things. Amen. So then when we see things differently, we hear things differently, we think differently, we function differently. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. See, you can be religious and still be the same way. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yes, sir. This is why religious people can come to church and put on a show. But when they're not at church, they something totally different. That's not what Jesus came to do. See, for a lot of us, we have our spiritual life and our natural life. And so we function this way spiritually and we function this way naturally. And I ask them myself sometimes, and so I wonder when the spirit leaves. When you function naturally, where did the spirit go? Because I believe if your spirit leaves you, we'll be bearing you. So, my, my, why, why am I saying all this? Because what Jesus wanted you to do is to function the way he functioned in your life. Whether it's in the church or out of the church, in the park, at the beach, wherever it is, I function as he does. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what being a Christian is about. So you know what? Hey, if I pray like this, just because you don't do it that's your business I'm going to pray like I pray and I ain't stuck how you pray amen I don't have to do things like you do things I don't have to say I don't have to pray like you pray sing like you sing dance like you dance the only thing I have to do is be and function like Jesus Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. See, that's why he's going to free you. He's going to free you. Because there's a lot of us, been, no. we've been so bound by people. No. No. When we be worried about what people going to think, the only one I'm worried about who think is Jesus. That's the only one I worry about. How he think is Jesus. If he's happy, you can be mad. Get over it. Guess what? I gotta, hey, I gotta make him happy. Because you know what? At the end of my life, he's the one gonna say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Not folks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This man came to Jesus. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. This man came to Jesus. Again, remember what I said. This is a ruler, a teacher. And he says, Rabbi, Look at this. We know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. It sounds, listen, if you, when you read that, at the surface, it sounds like Jesus really don't answer. Because the man comes to Jesus and he gives him a compliment. You know, because some of us get them, but we don't respond like Jesus. You know, people come to us and say, oh, I know you are. You know, man, woman, God. 
We see how you do this and we see how you do that. And then we'll start, oh yeah, well you know, you have to fast, you know, six times a week. You have to pray. But you know, I've been in this thing for a long time. And so, you know, so I got, you know, I'm gifted like that. You know, he got, you know, he, he's anointed me to do this and that. Jesus didn't answer like that. This man came to Jesus. And he says, we know that you are. He said, listen to what he said. Look, watch this. Look what he said. He said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God. For we, for no man can do these miracles. He said, we have seen the things you do. And we have come to the conclusion. You gotta be from God to do those things. And Jesus said, except the man be born again. He can't see the kingdom of heaven. This man just said, Rabbi, we see what you're doing. And Jesus said, except the man be born again. Look, you, look, listen. What you think you see, you don't even see. You look, you see it. And can't, and can't understand really what you have seen. See, because you have been programmed to believe that it is about these miracles. We have been programmed to believe that it is about gifts. That it is about talents. That it is about having offices. Name, long name of Archangel Bishop Pastor Joe. Thank you. 
see the kingdom. Are y'all hearing me? Are y'all hearing me? See, I got to do this here because, watch this. This man said, Rabbi, we know that you are a man come from God. For no man can do these miracles. And he was fascinated with the miracle. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I said to thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of heaven. Let me say this here before I go on. How many of us, if we want to just really be honest right now, really pray to God about being born again? Thank you. But these are his words. They're not mine. He says, except you be born again. Born again is very important to Jesus. Look, to the church, it's not. Because the church have a different agenda. But to Jesus, being born again is very, very important. Your whole life starts over. He teaches you from the beginning of, your, of that point that you accept him. He starts teaching you. He starts showing you. At, the, at that point, just like you do a baby. Ball. Cat. Dog. Cave. Chair. He walks you through your life. He teaches you the whole time. Hey, you might be able to tell somebody, I may not know much, but that I know. I do know. Because he's teaching me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? He walks you through your life. You got a new life now. It's new. You don't know what to do. Ask. Amen. Really, I'm being honest. Ask. And I want you to start asking him. And start waiting on folks to come and tell you. The Lord told me to tell you this. I came to you with a word from the Lord. Yeah. I told somebody, I said, you know what? I got the point I told myself, I'll tell you what. Next time he come and tell you something about me, tell him I'm hot with him. <laughs> because he's supposed to be my personal savior. He's supposed to broke down the wall partition between me and everybody else. And here it is. Every time he got something to tell you about me, he don't come to me. See, I'm not scared to say that. I know y'all see. Y'all say, well, here, Pastor, you can say, no, you can say it too. That's why I want you to get to the place. Look, you don't have to wait for nobody to come to you. He will talk to you. Yeah. Hallelujah. He will talk to you. You okay? You get it just like I did. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey, how many y'all ought to just say thank the Lord on that? You ought to just say thank the Lord on that. You ain't got to wait on me and nobody else. Hey, if whatever you want to know, ask, and it shall be the gift. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be open. That's his word. Hallelujah. He want to do it for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Watch this, watch this. Verse 4. He said to him, Nicodemus, verse 4. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? This is the solid man who's the Holy Spirit. Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus, as I said, accepted. He said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot look now enter into the kingdom. First, you can't see it. Now you can't even enter in. Look, you know the scripture, but can't enter in. You know the scripture and can't see it. And believe me, it's a whole lot of people know the scripture, but have not seen it or entered in. Let's see, a lot of us waiting till we die in dream. 
No, you can enter in now. You can enter in now. You can enter in right now. Please hear me on this. A kingdom is not a castle. Do y'all hear me? The castle is the home where the king lives. But the kingdom is the territory everywhere the king rules. That's the kingdom. Amen. Amen. The, uh, um, the uh, U.S. Virgin Islands is across the water. But they are part of the U.S. Amen. And they have to go by the U.S. rule. Even though it's crossed the water. Amen. If you go over there and start bothering with the U.S. Virgin Islands, Washington going to start making a telephone call. Because even though they're not at the White House, at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, if you start entering the territory, hey, the one in charge is going to make a call. Hey, and send out protection. Are y'all hearing me? Hallelujah. See, so right now, even though, look, you haven't made it to your home in the sky, whatever you may want to call it, if once you enter into his kingdom, you are already under his protection. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you have to live by his rule. Watch this, watch this. He said, Verse 6, that which is flesh is born of the flesh. But, and that which is spirit is born of the spirit. Listen, remember this, flesh is flesh and spirit is spirit. He said, him not marvel not that I say unto thee, ye must be born again. He said, the wind bloweth, where it listen, and thou hearest the sound thereof. But cannot tell when it comes. Sit down in the chair now. And whether it goes. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Sit down. Amen. He said to him, he said, Oh Lord, don't sit don't there and be strong. Because I say, you have to be born again. He said, Don't be strong about it. He said, The wind blows. And he said, And it listens, and, and you hear it. He said, but you don't know where it come from or where it's going. He said, so is those, look, those that are born of the Spirit. Why am I telling you this? See, people going to come to you and tell you, this is how you be born again. Do this. Do this. Do that. Don't worry about that. He was letting them know, just like you don't know where the wind come from or where it go. But when it arrives, you know it's there. Amen. Look, he, he was basically, basically could have said this way. I send the wind from where it start and to where it's going. But you know, don't know either. But when it get there, you gonna know it's there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, so, see, God works in a mysterious way. Look, God ain't gonna work it in your life like he worked it in somebody else's life. God ain't gonna do it. Hey, you are a totally different person than the other person. You don't have to have it like they have it. But let me tell you something. When God sent your way, hallelujah, they ain't gonna know how it got there. But all they gonna know is that is the Spirit of God. That is the Spirit of God that is working in your life. I want to tell you that right now. Because we'll be sitting up and we'll be waiting for a tingling. Because we feel like if we get a tingling, we'll know that's Him. If we get this here chill down our back, we'll know that's Him. 
We waiting to see the clouds opening. We waiting to see this happening. Something spooky and all that kind of stuff. And I came to tell you today, it'll come on you. Or he'll come on you. And nobody will know it but you. They won't know where he came from. Or hey, uh, where you getting ready to go. All they'll know is God is in the midst of that person's life. God is changing their life. God is moving in their life. Hey, how you got that? They won't even know. Why am I saying that? See, because you look at me right now and you say, oh, he the pastor, he the senior pastor, he what up? But see, let me tell you something. I know what it feel like to be a to be the backslider, I hate. See, I know what it feel like, and to be the one that everybody looking at you because hey, they they think you got weaknesses in your life and defects in your life. I know what it feel like. Yeah. And if you listen to all these folks, you will never get anywhere. But let me tell you what you gotta trust. You gotta trust in the Word of God. Hallelujah. Tell your day. Trust the word. Tell your neighbor. Trust the word. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm gonna skip down to verse 11, and I'm gonna finish up here. Listen what he said. He said, "Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Look, we speak that which we do and testify." That which we have seen. And he received the our witness. He said, if I have told you earthly things, you will believe. And, and, and ye believe not. How shall I, how shall ye believe if I tell you heavenly things? And no man has ascended up to heaven. But he that came down from heaven, even the son of man, which is in heaven. He said, and as Moses lift up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And just to write quickly, go to the show, tell y'all what happened for us y'all ever seen Let me tell you how simple God can be. And how if you don't watch it, you won't believe it. Because it really don't make sense. And God told Moses to get a serpent and go right in the middle of the camp and lift it up. And everybody will look up and they're going to be healed. Look, it don't even make sense. But you know what? Following God or following Jesus is not about what makes sense. It's about what you have faith in. And he's going to tell you to do some things that don't make sense. But I came to tell you today, if you want your life to change, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. If you want your life to change, because I'm talking to somebody right now, if you want your life to change, And I'm not saying this so you can come out in front of everybody. It ain't their business. I'm saying this so you can come out in front of him. Because it's his business. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you today, right now. I'm telling you today, right now. Right now. Right now. I don't care how bad it is. Right now. I don't care how bad it is. Right now. Look. Look. In your spirit. Look, look up. You need to look up right now. You need to look up right now. You need look, you need to look toward heaven right now. And just tell him, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Right now. I thank you right now, Jesus. Lord, I thank you. You know what, Lord? I don't know how you're gonna fix it. But I'm gonna trust your word. I'm gonna trust your word. Hallelujah. 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 Hold up, look, and if you looked up right now, you ought to just give a hand clap of praise. 
You are just giving hands to her. Look, if, if, if you didn't have to do it, don't worry about it. But don't worry about it, baby. But I'm telling you because... See, like I said, I don't, I got, we got a lot of, we got a lot of babies. And I know in this young struggle, and in this war, it's difficult. And you're going to hear a lot of things from a lot of people. And they're going to be talking to you and telling you this, that, and the other. Being honest. I'm being honest. I'm being honest. Hey. Squash it. Hey. Look up. Hey. Hey. I look towards the hill. Which way? Well, that's where my help come from. My help come from the Lord. Look, not down here with you. I'm looking up towards the hill. Because that's who's going to free me. That's who's going to bring me up. Look, why are you still looking down on me? Why are you still condemning me? He'll free me and bring me up. And bring me out. I'm going to learn to look to him. You know what? Because he loves me when you don't. Hey, he, hey, he trusts me when you don't. And hey, he believes in me when you don't. I'm going to stop looking at folks hey, for my validation. I'm going to look to Jesus for my back Because he's the only one that got the power. Hey, I'm still how much 30 days young. They ain't the one you go to. You stay before Jesus. Hey, when you need to talk to him, talk to him. You talk. Look, if you need me to help pray, I will. But hey, I'm not here. And to replace him, he is the one that you depend on. He is the one that your life is in hand. He is the one. Hallelujah. 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 Tell somebody, you need to start seeing things differently. You need to start seeing things differently. Hey, tell somebody else, you need to start seeing things differently. Hey, you need to start seeing things differently. Y'all, look at you. Excuse me. Yo. How many of us are dealt to? And I always say, you know, can look in your life. Look back in your life. And see, if you would have handled the situation differently. My Lord. For a lot of us, it took a lot of years for us to finally get to the place that if we would have handled that thing way back then. Yeah. How much headache, pain, sleepless nights, a stress, you name it. We could have avoided in our life by seeing things differently. If we if we'll just be honest, because see, see, many of us don't just have one. And every time we start getting out from under the one, we added another one, and another one, and another one, and we have lived our life trying to come up. And life could have been so much easier. I tell people all the time, you know what? Baby, it took me a long time. I did. I did. I told you. I, you know, I told you, you know. And that's why I say this here, and I, and I, I repeat it. I repeat it always. I tell men, pay your child support. Uh -oh. Pay. Because it'll make you mad to know you. It'll make you rethink, reconsider, or look at things differently. Because when them courts. Get through trouble in your life. Come on. Come on now. You'll be looking like 
says, all right, I'm going home. <laughs> hey, it wasn't that you ain't about to go to the scripture for that. Hey, hey, after they get through ripping your pockets out, yeah, hey, you'll be like, yeah, I see him. I'm going over here, though, man. I'm saying that because it's too many of us are living under a whole lot of stress right now because of how we see things and how we think. We are. Jesus came to change that. As you see, he came in there, he showed that man. You don't see it right, man. You got to change the way you see things. That's what he came to tell you today. You got to change the way you see things. He have a much better life for you if you can change the way you see things. Look, you can come out a lot of strength and the skin will start clearing up. You dare to go to sleep at night. Hey, look, you have all these pockets. <laughs> it's a whole lot of things you change. Because here's a lot of us that I'm saying this. You know, hey, we try to live like. I can't say sad and chill without You know it. Katina and Deron and all the. Hey, we're trying to live like all these folks. But they don't have my money. So I have to live like I live because this is how much my pocket got. I'm being honest. And you know what? And if you, if that's not acceptable to you, how I live when that's what my pocket got, I'm looking up. Because I ain't worried about it. What you think anyway? The only one I got to worry about is what he thinks. And if he see that I am sincere in what I'm doing, you know what? Hey, if he see that I'm being faithful in what I'm doing, he will add to me whatever I need. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He came to change your life, but change first starts in you. If you want that situation to change, you change. Look, if you want your family problem to change, you change. Look, if you want your finance situation to change, you change. And it'll all change. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You that got baptized, getting baptized and going through orientation, y'all, that's just the beginning of it. I'm telling you right now, it's a whole new life ahead of us. It's a whole new life. It's a much better life. It's really, how many of y'all can really say, are you at the point to where you can really see, it's really a much better life? It's really, it is really a much better life. It, it really is. I mean, Sometimes I just think, God, you do this. Yes. Wow! Y'all don't do that to me. I get mad at myself. I said, God, if I'd have knew it back then, it could have been so much different than it is now. You young folks, y'all don't have to do that. You got time. Don't wait till you started something different. Whatever. Just start realizing that. Do it now. Yeah. Uh, one more thing. Pastor told me to do that, but you won't really. I bought my first house. I have to say that. I bought my first house when I was 27 years old. I bought the second house at 32. Really, in the black community, buying a house 
at 27. Which, ooh, that's good. Right? So y'all got your 40? Anybody? Okay. When I bought my first house, uh, so I was 24. No, 27. No, 27. 27. Right. When I bought my first house, when I bought my first house, I bought it from a white couple that was 22 and had been living there five years. Right. See, when you heard 27, you think that's good. No, that's just better than what we do. They had to buy it when they were 17. They were selling their first house at 22. Why am I saying this? I'm saying, why are we running around messing up our lives and running into trouble here and picking up problems there and whatever? We are wasting our year. We are wasting our year. And even though you're wasting your years, guess what? People are still moving on. And then you will look back when you're 40, when you're 50, and you'll wonder why you didn't get anywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. It can start for you right now. And you need to make up your mind. It need to start for me right now. Hey, can, I'm gonna expect y'all. Can you say that in your mouth today? It need to start for me right now. It need to start for me right now. I am not waiting any longer. It is starting for me right now. Look, Jay. See, y'all catch it. You gotta say it. Look, you gotta say it and claim it in Jesus' name. It is starting for me right now. Hallelujah! 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 Turn to somebody and tell them it's starting for me right now. Why don't you stand on your feet? Tell somebody it's starting for me right now. It's starting for me right now. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. 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 Somebody need to start for you today. I'm going to 